Okay, I'm inside the house now. The entry has kind of a flesh-colored ceramic tile entry, and that is converting to linoleum down the hallway, if you can see that. We do not have popcorn ceilings, which is a good thing. It does look like we have a whole house fan. Now I turned right after coming in the front door. There's the basement steps. Here's a pocket door for it. This will be bedroom number one. A bathroom which is Jack and Jill out here to the hallway for the house and into bedroom number two. Now this bedroom has a lake view out the window. This would be the master bedroom. The carpet looks to be like expensive carpet. It looks to me like if you had it freshly shampooed and freshened up, it would be fine. In this master, you've got a big walk-in closet. This is about eight feet deep and seven feet wide, maybe nine feet deep and seven feet wide. Then here is the master bath. It's pretty plain Jane. Marble master's countertop, fiberglass walk-in shower. You do have your own balcony off of the master. And it's a, the same deck that goes down to the kitchen area. The windows are not cheap windows. These are crank outs, which are real nice. There's a stairway down towards the neighbor's house in the side yard. Then the dock site would be right down there. Okay. Let's go down to the other end of the house. There's the kitchen straight ahead. In the living room off to the right, I'm gonna go into the kitchen first. Behind the kitchen, we've got a big, big mudroom with a sink, lots of room for pantry, a desk, closet, and a walk out to the garage. There are uh, spaces for five more circuits in the panel. It looks very professionally done, labeled really, really well. This is the door, I assume, from the garage to the deck, and it's has had a dog door in it. Somebody's put a piece of plywood over. This goes out to a small side porch. I don't see any cracks or anything in the in the garage floor, which is very unusual. It's a single roll-up door, but it is an insulated roll-up door. And it does have a power door operator. This mudroom is where your dryer and washer would go, of course. 
Appliances are old, but they, they're Gen Air. And if they're all Gen Air, that's Whirlpool. Whirlpool. It's got a composite sink. It's not in fantastic shape, but it's, you know, it's okay. It's not damaged. Then this would be the living room, which basically goes across two-thirds of the house with only the master bedroom back here as well. These are the views out this window, and there's the fireplace. Okay, there's the front door. And a ghost just opened the front door. There's a, some kind of a display case here on the wall, which I'm not sure you would want to keep. But that is the first main floor, and I'll stop this and then go to the basement. 